Hi, welcome back to Pia Tech Talk. In the latest video, we show the STM32C0 and the I2C interface. And to visualize this, I added a small OLED display uh, working with the SSD1306 uh, driver ship. The library they, that we found on GitHub didn't have support for STM32C0, so I also showed how you can easily also implement this driver. But in the first or in the for, first video, I only showed some text and how to initialize the display. But the display also have a possibility to drive graphics, and I got a couple of questions on how to drive graphics. So uh, I will show that in this video. So if that sounds interesting, please tag along. So we continue with the project that we uh, ended the, the last video. And uh, if you didn't tag along this one, uh, please review it uh, in my video files. Uh, what I thought about doing is to have my small logo type and I took my logo type and uh, went it into bitmap and removed the colors since we only have a black and white display. Uh, and I took it into this small uh, tool that called LCD Assistant and you can download it from this site. I can put that link in the uh, description below. But it's free to download and it's a small tool, looks like this. So what you actually do, you load your image and I, this is the bitmapped file that I have created. Uh, it looks like this. What is uh, needed to do is to put horizontal orientation on it. The width and height is uh, automatically indicated in the bitmap and it also says what the table name it should have. So what we can do now is just to save the output. Here is the project on the file structure and there it's under the project and under drivers. So there is the project and under drivers. We had that folder that we created named OLED. We just paste the bitmap.h file that we created in the LCD assistant in there. In the project, we can right click on the project and we can refresh. And we can go in drivers, OLED, and to see that it's actually bitmap.h is there. So in our code, we need to do some additional uh, handling in this one. So we do include it in that one as well. Like so. And then we can go down to our code where we wrote some OLED. That one we actually don't need any longer. So we can comment that one out. We still need the init and uh, we can use the set cursor. That is K, uh, but we can do like this. We give it us some, some space and we can do like this, uh, draw bitmap. And 13.0, is that is the X and the Y uh, axis on the display. So uh, it gets a bit centered. And uh, then it takes uh, what file. This is the file that we're going to print. And you have that in the bitmap.h. So you have that here. So it will look for that one. And it's uh, 104 by 64 bits white, and I would like to have it white. And we need to then update the screen. We can add a small delay. We change the color on the background.
and we'll remove the right string. And then we make an update on the display again. So what we do there, we initialize the display, we set the cursor, we can actually put also the fill color on here. Uh, so we set the cursor to zero and we fill the background with black and then we draw the bitmap with our image that we have here in the bitmap.h and uh, we do it with white and we update the screen we wait for three seconds then we fill the background with white and we write the same logo type but in, in black this time and then we update the screen great so now let's see if we made any errors so we can build the project great looks fine and uh, now let's see where we left off last time so it says pia tech talk but now we're going to change it to change it to the display, uh, the, the bitmap that we just created. So uh, we debug it. So it looks like it's already reset itself, but if we now try to start the display, it started with a black background and then it changed to the white background. Now it looks like it's flickering very much on the camera, but that I think that is an inference, interference with uh, shutter speed. Because for the naked eye, when I look on the display, it uh, doesn't flicker at all. Okay, so now we have also made some small graphics on the display and uh, show both the text and the graphics. It both works. And if we just take a small check on the memory footprint that is also crucial uh, now with, even though i'm putting out the graphical display uh, we use 12 kilobyte so there is still remaining like uh, 20 kilobyte of flash in the device so if you like the video and you learned something please give it a thumbs up and uh, it really helps the channel uh, to show the video for many more people that could be interested of this one and if you have any comments, please leave a comment to me. And if you're not already a subscriber, please consider to do so. It will be highly appreciated. So until the next time we see each other, stay safe.